this is the strings two, three, and four. These three strings. So they're the, let's call them the middle strings of the guitar, but they're the smaller middle group. String two, three, and four, counting from the smallest. One, two, three, four. We're using two, three, four. So on those three strings, we can make this shape of notes. It's ace, but we start on, a, on the E here, reorganize the A there and the C here. So if we play those three strings, we have E, A, C. That's your A minor chord. A lot of you guitarists might know that. But if we play just those three strings, it's a triad in the second inversion. Because the E is the, the lower note that we begin on, A and C. And if we follow up those strings, the next position of the letters A, C, and E reorganized is A on fret 7, C on fret 5, and E on the smaller string. So you can hold them together with a bunch of fingers. You can use whatever fingers seem to be most efficient or comfortable, or you can play them one at a time like this. A, C, E. A, C, E. So that's our root position, meaning it's starting starts from A because it's A, the root of A is A. So A minor. Then if we reorganize it up, starting on the 10th fret, we have C in the bass, the lower string of these this three string set. We have C, E, and A. You can use whatever fingers you like there. So maybe finger two, finger one, and finger three for fret 10, nine, and 10. That's C, E, A. And that's it on that string. Root position A minor, first inversion. No, <laughs> I got that backwards. Second inversion A minor, root position A minor, second inversion A minor. Don't worry too much about these big theoretical words. It's just A, C, and E. We're just trying every combination on, on each little area. And if you use this as your kind of home base, it's, it works well to have a few fingers or the triad to start from. And then you can noodle or play just those blue notes, but always kind of come back to the blue notes. Most music kind of is really just that. The triad is your home base in blue and then you move around from it in all these different positions. So we could think of each triad as your home base position group. So we had the first string sets, you can position all your notes in those areas. And then the second set, which is string two, three, and four, you can use that area to jam around, this area to jam around, or this area to jam around. And again, you could play, you know, one finger at a time, or you could hold a chord and pluck them together or strum them together somehow.